Hey everybody, welcome to this week's deck study. I've got another unbelievable deck. Um, this might be my favorite one of the year so far, and we'll get into it as we get into the deck. But this is the brand new Tally Ho Kings Wild Project Edition. It is an unbelievable deck. It's awesome. Let's talk about it. Um, first of all, as you guys know, Tally Ho is one of those names and cards that's undeniable it's you know this a standard bear just with like bicycle um, as bicycle probably the most popular um, deck um, with magicians and cardists um, tally ho is is probably the preferred brand the cards handle a little better they're a little smoother um, and it's just one of those things so tally ho is is the name for magicians and, and cardists of of the like so this is a brand new deck. It just came out um, earlier in the month, um, and it's it's really awesome. So let's take a look at it uh, again. Um, this is the box, and it's very similar to the old style Tally Ho box. So if you look at it right here, not a lot not a lot of difference. The fonts are the same. It's kind of the same style, um, but it does have the King's Wild Project right up there let's zoom in on that a little bit and if you guys don't know the Kings Wild Project is a deck design company um, they've done the federal um, 52's the Civil War cards they've done recently the um, Sherlock Holmes cards and this is their newest deck um, the deck designer is Jackson Robinson and he did. He really did an unbelievable job sticking to the classic Tally Ho look. Um, he definitely did the brand justice, um, and I was really excited about it. So, as you can see on the bottom of the box, it's got the playing cards number thirteen. Um, normally, you'd have playing cards number nine on there, or bicycles would be series eight hundred eight, which has something to do with the barcode on the bottom as you can see it's number nine and the bicycle cards barcode has an 808 on it I don't have a deck with me right now but that's kinda of what that's in reference to there's no barcode on this one so I'm not sure what the 13 re uh, refers to if you guys find out let me know and leave it in the comments and I'll put an annotation in the video um, but again really cool box I like the color the kinda of the, the gold color now the the box itself, there's no metallic, there's no embossing, there's no um, foil, cool stuff like that. It's a matte finish, which is just plain, um, not shiny whatsoever, just classic, classy. So you got the United States Playing Card Company on there. You've got the United States Playing Card Company on the other side. Again, the bottom, you've got the really cool King's Wild Project logo with the king with the gas mask on it which is really cool you got version one and some legalese you can see Jackson Robinson the deck designer Kings Wild Project made in the USA and the copyright information on there as well um, really cool really cool box um, the top this guy is the Kings Wild Project underneath the custom Kings Wild Project seal and you can see the back design again it's a it's a classic circle back tally ho just like the um, the original it's 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 on uh, homage to the the old tally ho with a modern feel it's really well done um, it does have a little bit of a thinner border or, or a well not as defined border as the normal tally hoes um, but again I'll do some care compare and contrast um, in a little bit and the blue the blue in this is a slightly darker blue it's closer to a midnight blue as the normal tally hoes is more of the royal blue um, as well so let's take a look at the cards and see what you get um, again on the flaps you can see the number 13 on there as well right there and on the flaps so the cards you get and again it's more of a dull kind of um, finish on it so it's not as shiny um, it doesn't handle like a normal tally ho deck it's a different stock um, a different finish um, than the normal tally hose it handles more like a bicycle stock um, it's got the air cushion finish um, so it doesn't have the Lenoid finish like the tally ho does but again it handles 
beautifully. You won't have any problems with it whatsoever. Really smooth and really easy to handle. So let's look. Again, here's a little bit of a close-up of the back design. Um, as you can see, what I meant is not as defined of a border. Um, you can see how the images kind of pop into the border, making it a little bit of perturbs there. Um, a little bit, and just like the uh, the normal tally ho back design, as point of reference. And again, a little bit more of a darker blue. This is a little bit more of a royal blue, but fairly close. But again, you can see um, they wanted to keep that classic, classic circle back look, which was very well done. So the cards you get, you get a, you get some bonus cards, and then you get your jokers, and I'll show you the ace of spades as well. So. The first, actually, that is the ace. Let me make sure I've got the right ones here. Uh, those are the jokers. I got these out of order. So, okay. Your first bonus card is a double back with the red back on it, um, which is cool. I haven't seen a red deck yet, so that might be coming or in the works. But for now, it's the, all the decks are blue, but you've got this cool color change, which you can do some pretty cool routines with. So there's your first bonus card. Um, Next bonus card, actually this is this one. You got a King of Diamonds with the reveal, which is the Three of Clubs. So there's a reveal card there uh, on the King. And you can see the custom font, which is really cool. We'll get into that in a little bit. Um, Jokers, really cool. Um, again, there you're a little bit uh, of an homage to the old style. Um, fox hunting jokers from the original Tally Ho deck. You obviously get one in black and white and one in color, but it's uh, it's really cool. As you can see, a side by side. You've got the um, the fox hunter here, and a little more realistic looking. This is more of a cartoony look. I, I really like I really like this Joker a lot. It's it's really classy and cool, and you can see the custom font on there as well um, and what the reference is if you guys don't know um, in Fox kind of the, the, the phrase tally ho was used by fox hunters and hunters um, when they have hounds they'll yell out tally ho when they have spotted their um, their uh, their hunting prey so that's kind of where the term comes from and why this is used in the tally ho deck so just to let you know there so those are your two jokers, really cool. Let's look at the Ace of Spades, which is very well done. It, it's definitely, again, um, very close to the old Tally Ho Ace of Spades, which is right here. So very similar, very cool. And as you can see here, King's Wild Project, deck designer. And you can see the difference in font, though. This is your classic bicycle font. This is... An aerial black bold font. It's it's much more modern. You can see it's a non-serif font. I really like it. And the font and the pips are very similar to the Artifice decks from Illusionist, which I will again show you a little bit when we look at some of the pip cards. So there's that. And again, you got the King's Wild Project 2014. A really really nice Ace of Spades. Very well done. Again. Um, homage to the old style deck so that was definitely a point of emphasis um, with Jackson when he decided to do this deck so let's look at the cards themselves um, as you can see the font um, bold and very well done as, as then the red again is a darker um, more of a um, red wine type font and you can see the pips are smaller than normal. Um, if I pull out again, just another Tally Ho deck out here and grab a card. As you can see, the difference in color and the difference in the pips. So if we look at, let me grab an 8, the 8 here, just so you can see what it looks like and the difference. You can see there's much more white on this card, so that will serve you well when performing. Um, it hides the color a little bit, but again, it's, it's much more modern looking. Um, and really well done and again I, I love the color that they used and you can see the nice thick font style um, and again when performing you're definitely gonna know the cards that you're using as you can see when you just 
spread them out. They're easy to see with that thicker, bolder font. And I really love the non-serif fonts. You guys have seen my videos before. You know that. Um, let's look at the court cards, which are probably my favorite court cards. Maybe, probably not of all time, because the Jack Sellers court cards are still pretty cool um, and probably my favorites. But these are very close. They're borderless court cards. Well, it's something I... I I talk about all the time how much I love the borderless cord cards, but let's look at the art artwork here and the detail. It's so unbelievably good. I mean, these are these are just so well done. And as you can see, the tops of their heads do form a little border, but again, it's just going in with with the artwork. You really can't tell just by looking at it from afar. And you can see the nice modern aerial bold black font very nice very well done and again they're just they're so great looking uh, this, this whole deck is just fantastic um, when I was looking at it I mean if I were to design a deck this is what it would look like modern font borderless court cards a nice classy back design um, you know, so when I when I look at things, this is what what I would envision a deck if I were to design it would look like. That's why I love it so much. Um, <clears throat> so let me show you the uh, comparison to the um, real quick to the uh, illusionist cards, the artifice that I was talking about. Um, as you can see, the clubs here. Look how sim so similar they are. Um, this is your artifice card. This is your your tally ho cards. You can see the difference. The fonts are very similar. Um, the pips are similar in looking. This one's a little more thin. This one's a little more thick and bold. So, kind of um, your own personal preference there. But I really, I really like the thick, the thick indices on the side. It really stands out, especially when you're performing. Um, I mean, people, people can really tell what the cards are. They don't have to squint and look at them. Um, I mean, it doesn't look like your normal bicycle deck, but again, I, I just, it's, it was so well done. I really like it a lot. Guys, this deck is, is it's a must-have. Go get it right now. Um, you can get these cards at the King's Wild Project website. I'll put a link in the description. You can also get them at Art of Play, which is my new favorite website. Um, and I'll put a link to both those in the description to go get them. So again... This is going to be hard to beat for deck of the year. I can already tell. Um, like I said, this is what I would envision my own deck to look like. Um, again, just to kind of go over again what we talked about. Um, deck designer Jackson Robinson, King's Wild Project Tally Ho deck. It's fantastic. This deck is unbelievably awesome. Um, go get it right now. And um, I'm going to leave you with some news, news and notes. Um, Probably starting next weekend, I'm going to have a deck giveaway that's going to run for the holidays. I'll have details next week. Um, probably won't have a deck study for you, but uh, I'll have a video probably just outlining the details of the giveaway. So it's going to be a really good giveaway. I don't do as many anymore, but I'm going to make this one count. Um, it's going to be similar to last year's if you want a reference. So for the new subscribers... Um, go back and look at last year's holiday giveaway. It was really, it was a really cool, and I, and I was really happy with how it turned out. And um, let's see what else. I guess that's it. Um, again, I can't say enough about the deck, guys. Go, you need to have this. I'm gonna probably buy a bunch more of these because I'm probably gonna be using this one a lot. So, again, uh, King's Wild Project Tally Ho is fantastic. I remember what I wanted to say. Um, new subscribers. Um, I haven't plugged my Facebook page in a while, but I do tease out the deck studies um, a couple days beforehand. So I'll put a link to my Facebook page, Decks for Dummies on Facebook. Check that out, and you'll get some other cool stuff, and, and, I, you know, and I'll communicate with you guys if you have questions or, or anything like that to go there. So this is it, guys. Uh, go get it right now. Get it. It's awesome. See ya. Peace.